All right, it's time to bring it on, and we've got some great questions today. Gordon, are you ready? No. Well, go ahead. <laughs> oh, God is with you. All right, Chris <laughs> writes, when I see Jews praying at the Western Wall in Jerusalem, why do some of them rock back and forth? What does that signify? Good question. Uh, Chris, I've seen that, too. I've asked the same question. Let me teach you some Yiddish words. Uh, davening. Uh, is the Yiddish word for prayer, and, and I've heard that described as davening, but there's actually another Yiddish word, shuckling. Some people pronounce it shuckling, and that literally translates shaking, and that's the word for this. Um, and it's a rhythmic back and forth rocking movement um, that um, they use during prayer. Now, you get into issues, is it biblical? And the earliest reference from it comes from around the 8th century, so it doesn't go all the way back to Bible times. But it is an aid in meditation, and it is an aid in prayer, um, rhythmic movement, trying to focus your concentration on what you're, you're praying about. Um, you know, if you, if you do it, great. If you don't do it, great. Um, e either way. I do want to tell you about another thing, because today is Yom Kippur, and I've learned a great deal from our um, Jewish traditions. Uh, Yom Kippur has got a great prayer called the Vidui Prayer, where you pray that on a yearly basis, learning where the source of sin is. And the source of sin is in your heart, in the confession from your heart. I encourage Christians to do this. If you want to get a copy of it, it will be available on CBN.com. Uh, all you have to do is click on it, and where the discussion on Yom Kippur, you can find a copy of an English translation of the Vidui prayer. Uh, it's good to get in touch with our Jewish roots. It absolutely is. Amen. All right, Annie writes, I discovered the 700 Club last year while in the emergency room and have been watching every day since. At around that time, my mom was diagnosed with cancer and it has been over a year now since her diagnosis. She has great faith and prays every day. Recently, her cancer has been causing her more pain mm. and she has given up hope. Our family is praying for healing, but it seems she's not feeling physically or mentally any better. Can she be healed? Annie, the, the answer is yes, she can be healed. Uh, but certainly in my ministry, I've, I've seen people that, that didn't. And uh, it's always a, a great blow to, to lose somebody that you love dearly. And uh, you prayed, they prayed. There was great faith, but you didn't get an answer. I've seen it both ways. Um, I was in a hospital room in Manila. I was actually there for a, a, another friend who had gone through an operation, and they were sharing a room with a, a young woman in, in her 20s who had just gone through brain surgery, had brain cancer, and the doctors had given up hope, and uh, she was still unconscious. Uh, her head was all wrapped in bandages, uh, but because we were praying for the, the friend, the her friend said, well, you pray for our friend. And so we went over and prayed, and boy, I didn't feel a thing. Uh, there wasn't any light in the room. I, it, just, it just seemed to be uh, a big weight, and so I didn't have any faith. I don't know who had faith there. Uh, I didn't think anything was going to happen. Uh, but that woman who was on death's door got out of that bed and walked home. Um, at the same time, I had a very dear friend of mine who I worked at CBN. Uh, he had cancer, and I had words for him. And um, was sure he's going to recover. He did, and then he went into relapse. Uh, ultimately, it, um, it came back, and, and he died from that. And I had an argument with God. <laughs> mm. Why? Uh, I got specific words, and, and I, I did what you asked me to do. Why, why, did he, why did he die? The answer kind of surprised me, and that still small voice said, his symptoms were shouting at him. And sometimes we let the symptoms of pain and disease uh, overcome the word, um, and, it, and it's able to quench it. Um, there's a whole discussion from Jesus in Matthew chapter 13 about what can take the word away um, and what allows the word to, to grow and bear fruit. Um, and sometimes words of healing can be taken away by the enemy. Uh, but rejoice if they're a Christian. Uh, you'll be with them for all eternity, and they've been released from pain on, the, on this earth. But that, that's a difficult question. Uh, but I would encourage you to pray and keep on praying. Ask and keep on asking. Don't give up. Uh, it's when you give up that you lose hope and you lose, hate, mm -hmm. you lose faith. Yeah, as long as they're alive, there's hope, right? As long as there's breath. Yes, <laughs> right.